regard to your position on selfishness, uh, Eric Fromm did precisely the same thing about selfishness. He talks about individual uh, self-esteem and love. Can you comment on your views concerning Eric Fromm's philosophy about love? Will you comment upon Eric Fromm's uh, views on love and self-esteem? Well, you see, it would, we would be living in Atlantis if men used words so precisely that when a man uses a certain concept, you may be sure he means it and that it means the same as the concept used by anyone else. It so happens that, yes, Eric Fromm uses the concept selfishness, only it is in the exact, diametrically opposite sense to the one I use. Uh, to give you the briefest example of the difference between us and Eric Fromm's view of love, I would suggest that you read a brief little book he published called The Art of Love, which was very well known, uh, and in which he presents as the proper nature the morality of love, what I in Atlas Shrugged presented in the character of James Taggart. Uh, and if you have read Atlas Shrugged, you know that he is not a representative of my philosophy, to say the least. Uh, Eric Fromm advocates that love must be causeless. And he uses almost the same terms, if not literally the same, the same ideas as Eric Fromm. Incidentally, his book came out as uh, James Taggart. His book came out, I think, about a year before uh, Atlas Shagri. I'm not accusing him or myself of stealing from each other because I don't know him. I've never met him. But it's fascinating to what extent the logic of the wrong premises works. He advocated the following. If you love someone for reasons, for given virtues or character traits or values in the person, that's being, in effect, commercial. You must love a person without reason. Otherwise, uh, he claims that it is trading, it is, in effect, capitalistic, and he declares that capitalism is the enemy of love. And if this is his idea of love, I would say it is true, except that capitalism wouldn't have to bother him. He is free to indulge in any kind of love he wants, and if causeless love, unearned love, is what he wants, he must have his reasons. But... Uh, <laughs> that is the exact opposite. Uh, what I advocate when I say that proper love, romantic love, anything which is not an erotic emotion, is based precisely on our, what he regards as commercial, namely on justice, on a proper response to the values you observe and admire in a member of the opposite sex. Love is a response to values and most certainly if it is to be love, has to be earned. Earned by means of the virtues which you have developed in your character. So Eric Fromm and I do not agree. <laughs>